every family has its kind of legends and it's and some are apocryphal and some aren't. My grandmother, my mother's uh, mother, uh, during the during World War II, they were a tenant farmer family, and they had three sons, two of which had gone to war. My my mom's two brothers and uh, her oldest brother, uh, they got a telegram at the farm. Her mother got a telegram saying that he had been shot down over Germany and was missing and presumed dead. She had a heart attack. But she recovered when she found that he'd actually been taken prisoner of war and was alive. So bear with me, this goes somewhere. So, so a year later, um, the other son, they get another telegram. The second son is missing and presumed dead. And um, they now know the first son is a prisoner of war, but they figure, well, chances are this guy's really, he's gone. Um, so all the relatives back east are calling my grandmother, saying, come back east and let us take care of you. We don't want you to have another heart attack. And she says, no, I'm, I'm going to wait because I heard that Kenny was okay. I'm going to wait and find out that Stewie's okay. So one day she comes down into the kitchen. She's got a big smile on her face. She says, it's okay. He's okay. We can go. We can do whatever you want. He's alive. And she had this dream. She had a dream about a piece of paper coming out of the sky, a fireball, this whole thing. Um, and two days later, they got a telegram. He was alive. So the thing about that story is that she then had this, this thing in her head. Uh, people had this impression of her that she had this insight. Whether it was true or not, doesn't matter, except that when I was a kid and I was strange, everybody in my family was like, what's going to become of him? And what's going to happen to Michael? And we're all worried about Michael. Uh, she said, don't worry about him. He's going to be fine. People are going to know him all over the world. He's the last guy you have to worry about. And because of that, um, not so much whether that dream was true or not, because my mother believed it to be true, I was given a ton of leeway uh, as a teenager. And, and when I left high school and when I did other things that, that parents uh, as, as otherwise sensible as mine might have gone, well, I don't know. My parents went, well, oh, I can't remember what Nana said. So I got a lot of slack. So, I'm, you know, I always, I always say if my grandmother hadn't, had that dream, I wouldn't have been able to realize my own.